That's him now. I'm sorry, that's Grant. Opportunity again for Indiana. Grant able to put it in with the left foot. Woo! Garbon Grant off the bench. That? Foot in traffic, gets taken down, no whistle call, no foul on the play. Garbon Grant pushes ahead, Jerry Escobedo, the youngster. Tick there. Yeah, you gotta imagine there's not much time left. Not much. Could this be it here? Ford, Reed, kicks this one out. That was narrowly missed there by Rolke. Indiana clears it out. Ford, that's the strength right there. Oh, boy. Right through it. Nice job of coming over there quickly and helping out a teammate was Derezic. End of this match. All-time leading goal scorer in FC Indiana history. Four. So right around the 60-minute mark. You get a penalty kick. Ryan Ford. Field. Side of the field. Got seven of them total in the match. But even just the aggressive play there in the first half was kind of entertaining. Grant makes a move. This one ricocheted off. Clear it out. And again. there it is. There's going to be the That's final. That's going to do it. There's your final whistle. Ugh. This one ends in a heartbreaker. Header up. Headed back to midfield. Grant. Shit to Daisy. Gotcha. It is, uh, depending on the coach's mentality of play, it can be used for offensive minded or defensive minded uh, formations, depending on, like I said, the coach's mentality and the type of players you have. Down the field looking for Applejack. Carbon Grant. Pushes over to Marin. See play picking up now, getting a little more aggressive again. Is it the inaugural season of the MPSL? You get to kind of see what it's all about from their perspective. You expect some of the... Sammy Reed with that responsibility. Hard. Still going after it. Him down a little bit. Number nine is TJ Oliveras. That's who came in for him. You can tell with Ford there. He's got a special skill set. Number six, Brian Chapman. Four, Hafid Debaki. Good on that one. It's right, Sean. You know, Cleveland's got a lot of. Another chance. Good kick back towards the middle. Good clear. This one's probably going to sail out of bounds. I'll tell you what, good hustle there by Grant, though, trying to track it down. It'll be a throw in from the side. Another break for Indiana right here. Do something with yeah, it. Got it's right now, Minnesota Twin Stars just working a ball around midfield as it gets knocked out of bounds. The FC will throw it in. Got a breakaway. Miserable. If you got kids and this summer, they probably not had the best of summer. Not a lot of, I bet the pools are ready for some sunshine. A little more pep in the step now from FC Indiana. They look to seem to be a little bit quicker. To However, a little back and forth action now. They've had three separate stints here in the MPSL. They've only lasted a year apiece. This is their inaugural year since coming back, and, and they look to be a man. Ends up. Grant, Vasquez. Oh, we'll go ahead and kick it over and probably the wrap midfield. Go ahead and throw up that graphic for our home team. Come on, 
Ryan Grant swings it over. Here comes Ryan Ford. Going for the goal. Every time he gets a foot on it, he's taking a shot. Throwing by the line. 26 who went down. Sangs gets it over to Ford. Shot on goal. if there's an injury there if he just is getting the day off but I believe that they, they've got Jeff Gorman who's actually dressing for him today he was also preaching to his players not about taking quantities of shots on goal, but making sure you're taking quality ones you know getting it from some new faces getting it from some familiar faces as Arius adds another goal to his totals this season he nice got pass. a streak Chance Coming here. In. Oh! Tackled in the box. Hey, you could say about that. Quickly down. Ford. Ryan Ford is such a tall player. Shot on goal.